The book of Isaiah chapter 9, verse 2 to verse 6. Now I'll read said Matthew 4, 16. Read it me here, begin it. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them had light shine. Thou hast multiplied the nation and not increased the joy. They joy before they caught thee according to the joy of the harvest. And as a man rejoice when they divide spoil. Did not have no joy before Jesus. Uh, for thou hast broken the yoke of his burden and the staff of his shoulder. The rod of his oppressor, as in the day of Midian. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. He shall, amen, hallelujah. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, and the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. One verse from Matthew chapter 4, amen. Hallelujah, verse 16. And it says, and you will notice this verse also was quoted in Isaiah chapter 9. The people that sat in darkness saw a great light. And to them which sat in the region and shut of death, light is sprung up. Say light, light. is sprung up. Sprung. Hallelujah. God bless you richly. Today you can have your seats. Hallelujah. I want to share with you as the Lord leads, Jesus brought light in this world of darkness. Walk in his light and you will never stumble. Touch your neighbor and say, walk in the light of Jesus and you will never stumble. Touch a neighbor beside you and say, neighbor, walk in the light of Jesus and you'll never stumble. Put your hand on yourself and say, if I walk in the light of Jesus, I'll never stumble. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today we come together to celebrate Jesus. Celebrate his entrance into this world. Somebody praise the Lord. It's a time of worshiping, oh praise the Lord, in remembrance of his birth. Hallelujah. When he entered this world, wise men followed the star found this birthplace and uh, they said to uh, his parents we have seen the star and we have come to worship him today each and every one of us who have received jesus christ as lord and savior as it were we have seen the star and we have come to worship him. Somebody praise the Lord. 
Christmas is commonly known to be a time of sharing, celebrating, wishing loved ones and friends near and far joy and happiness. And I usually say, and I say it again, if there was no Jesus to come into this world, it would not be called Christmas. Hello, church. At this time, it would be just the end of the year. And when the new year comes in, it's the beginning of the year. But because Jesus came into this world, it is said at this time, amen, it's commonly called Christmas. Amen, somebody. Christ with us. Christ came into this world. And that's why it is called Christmas. December is not Christmas. Come on, somebody. It's uh, the time, the day we worship. Some claim that it's not the uh, 25th of December. I don't have a problem with that. But whether it was uh, 25th of December, 22nd, 23rd, I was even January, February, March, it makes no difference to me. The fact is that Jesus came into this world. Can you say amen? amen? And all we are doing is celebrating. A time is set apart to celebrate his entrance into the world. Amen. Joy to the world. The Lord is come. Let earth receive her king. Can your church say amen? amen. Hallelujah, the church. Many people at this time of season, they take Christmas out of context. We bless the Lord. We find many people take it as a time of business, time of reveling, time of partying, partying and having a good time out there, which has nothing to do with Jesus. Somebody praise the Lord. Amen. Sidelining and neglecting the real purpose of the season. Amen, church. Hallelujah. But today we come together to say thanks. Thanks for all that you have done. Thanks for coming into this world. Ah, somebody, somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have done. We bless the Lord. Hallelujah. And at this time, praise God. As the scripture was read, amen, concerning Isaiah's prophecy. It was a prophetic word that the prophet Isaiah, amen, brought into this world. Hallelujah. Many years before Jesus came. And as it were, the world was in darkness. A world of darkness and sin. Needed light. And not talking about the electrical light or other lighting system that are just temporary but a light which has to do with the survival of humanity from time into eternity oh hallelujah somebody praise the name of the lord hallelujah before I get into chapter 9, if you look at chapter 60 of Isaiah, ah, there verse 1, he said him, prophesy again, looking down through the telescope of time, ah, that we are now in, and Isaiah said, arise, oh God, arise, appealing to the world, arise and shine. For thy light has come, hallelujah, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Somebody say, rise and shine. He was ministering about the entrance of Jesus. The time that would come when Jesus would come into this world and the world would light 
up because of Jesus. So the prophets arise and start shining with Jesus. Hope is here. Joy is here. Love is here. A light that will shine among Gentiles and Jew and every nation of the world. A light from God would come and shine into this world and man would not have to group in darkness anymore because Jesus said in his word he said men when he came into this world and during his ministry he said men rather darkness than light because their deeds are evil but thank God when Jesus came and declared his ministry many people whose deeds was evil oh Lord of mercy stop doing evil and start doing good can you say man is there anyone here today that you know your life was evil but because of Jesus you are now doing good do we have anybody in the house can lift their hands and give him oh glory and give him praise here hallelujah shout hallelujah shout hallelujah I said Jesus brought light into this world of darkness hallelujah and I'm encouraging you to walk in that light so walk in that light hallelujah so walk in that light darkness means gloomy time it's a gloomy time absence of light amen wickedness sinister I was checking the dictionary and it was giving me some uh, clarification on what darkness is talk to me somebody to anyone that is in darkness and now we are declaring about the darkness of sin in the world it means that you are in gloominess in obscene light wicked and amen praise God sinister hallelujah things are around you that's darkness that's just some of the definition but where light is concerned amen praise God it said that which make things visible oh God I wish I could preach here that which make things visible so you're walking and because light come up you can see it talk to me church somebody praise the Lord praise the Lord hallelujah amen you might say well we have electric light we have candle light and you could go on and on to describe different kind of lights but there are some things I said there are some things in this world that no candle light no electrical light talk to me somebody can reveal them but I heard David said in the 27th Psalm the Lord is my light and my salvation whom shall I fear amen is showing me that there are some things in spite of electric light can you say amen but some spiritual things will rise up from time to time and if the light of Jesus is not shining in you are for you Lord you will fall victim oh God almighty to the wickedness, to the evil, 